We were two of seven million people that go there every year. It's been called one of America's modern marvels, and it is one of the largest reservoirs in America. The Mike O'Callaghan, Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge, and the Hoover Dam. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. Recently, we went from Kingman, Arizona to the Hoover Dam. And here's a few fun facts about it. Uh, first of all, it connects Arizona and Nevada on the Colorado River. It is now the third largest dam in the world. The dam gives power to three states, Arizona, Nevada, and California. It took five years to build it and 21,000 men. That's a lot of people. It is 726 feet high, 650 feet thick at the bottom, and only 45 feet thick at the top. The quantity of concrete for the dam, power plant, and facilities would be enough to build a 3,000-mile full-sized highway across the country. That's a lot That's of a concrete. <laughs> we'll share a few more fun facts about the Hoover Dam later in the video, so make sure you watch all the way to the end to hear it all. The other thing we want to share with you is a little information about the Memorial Bridge. Mike O'Callaghan was the governor of Nevada for eight years in the 1970s. And he was the former executive editor of the Las Vegas Sun. Pat Tillman was an American football player for the Arizona Cardinals. And he gave up his career, enlisted in the Army, and was killed by friendly fire two years later in Afghanistan. The bridge is dedicated to the honor and memory of both of those men. The bridge is the largest arch bridge of its kind in America. It is 1,900 feet long. We're going to learn more about the bridge when we're on it and you're walking with us. So stay tuned for that in a moment. <laughs> Here we go to the Hoover Dam and the Mike O'Callaghan and Pat Tillman, Tillman. Memorial Bridge. <sighs> And I were just saying it isn't the the height of this as much as the traffic coming towards us. <laughs> mm. 
We still have a long ways to go. I don't know if we're gonna go all the way across or not. My feet are getting, starting to turn like jelly. <laughs> I have no idea how high we are. How much? I have no idea. Oh, very, very, very far down there. There's cars going across the top really slow. Can you? Zoom in here. Yikes. There is a graduated walk path if you don't think you can do the stairs. That starts right from the parking lot. Otherwise, you can do the stairs. There's about, we lost count, I think 68. 68 stairs, yeah, so, something like that. So yeah. And we were up there. <laughs> Looking down on all this. Get an idea of how big those pillars are when you see this car up ahead here. Uh, and really, when you think about it, they don't seem all that big. <laughs> when you think of all the traffic that's going over it. Okay, we have a choice between paying $10 for parking or what appears to be going over the Hoover Dam. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going across. We couldn't find a place to park so we could walk on here. without paying ten dollars we're cheap <laughs> no we're thrifty. we're thrifty our channel is about how to do things without having to spend a lot of money and see really cool things oh my gosh I can't believe we're going across Hoover Dam You hear so many different nationalities as we were going across the bridge and we were walking, the walking bridge, you could hear people talking that was in all different languages, people from all over the world. People boating on the water over there. There are a lot of parking lots for this. Some will require you walking more than others. This is obviously an RV parking only section. Personally, I don't know that I would come here with an RV. <laughs> it's nice to be unhitched sometimes. Sometimes. There's a flashing light that said that the road is closed up ahead here, so we're turning around, thank goodness there was a place to do that. With an RV, we would not have been able to turn around. I would not come up here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the overlook up there. You can see the roof. But there was no people up there, no vehicles. Don't know why it was closed. These pillar things remind me of the uh, Wizard of Oz movie. <laughs> if they were green. Anybody else see that? 
Isn't that weird how they're tipping in towards the water? That is so strange. This is an older picture of the Hoover Dam. And comparing to my pictures, you can see how much the water has gone down. They said it's at the lowest it's been since the 1930s when it was built. Earlier, Gary and I were wondering what that overpass was for because it wasn't big enough for any vehicles. There was no road. There's no cattle around here. We found out it's for the bighorn sheep, a safe place for them to cross the highway. This is the Lake Mead National Recreation Area. And we just happened to see it assigned, so we're taking it. We were on our way back to Kingman. So we're gonna take a little drive down here. We're going kind of almost against the sun here, so I hope there isn't any big glare. He said it's four and a half miles down to the bottom. And Gary thinks we're about halfway. I think so. Okay. <laughs> Lake Mead is part of the Colorado River. an interesting thing. It was built in the 1930s during the Great Depression and a lot of people came looking for work and they were paid a whopping for the really dangerous jobs. They were paid 50 cents to $1.25 an hour. It was named after Herbert Hoover and there was a lot of controversy on that. He wasn't very popular president because a lot of people blamed him for the for the Great Depression. And at one time they were going to call it they they were going back and forth on calling it Boulder Dam and then they ended up keeping Hoover Dam. And now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, I can't say that. Well, you probably can. You think Paul Harvey would mind? Not anymore. <laughs> I've kind of been watching for some bighorn sheep because this is supposed to be their dwelling place. And so far, I haven't seen any. Keep your eyes peeled. Maybe you'll see one that I don't. <laughs> No, as soon as I shut the camera off, there will be one walking across the road or something. <laughs> Ooh, this is interesting. We must be getting. Ouch! Just a tad bumpy in here, but really cool. All this beautiful scenery, we keep cleaning the windshield constantly <laughs> and those bugs they just come anyway so if there's any bug splat I'm sorry <laughs> it's hard to keep up with them there's a lot of boats down here visitor center picnic tables some picnic tables way up there you want a better view I'm going to show you really quick the route that we took and where everything is this is Kingman where we came up from this is Highway 93 it is considered a very dangerous road. It's pretty straight and it's very scenic in places, but just be careful on it. This whole shaded area here is part of the Lake Mead Recreational Area. And we did not go up to see all of this Lake Mead. That'll be on another time when we go to the Grand Canyon. But we did go. Here's the dam right here. 
and the bridge, the memorial bridge. And this is Lake Mead. We saw just a little bit of it, but this is right here. And it's the largest reservoir in all of North America. And then we stopped at Willow Beach. That's where we saw just part of the water there. Very close to Las Vegas. If you ever want to go there, Boulder City. Highly recommend it. Hope you liked that video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already by hitting that red button down below. And then next to it, a bell will pop up. Ring that bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Check out our Facebook page, Roads of Faith. And until next time, God bless. Am I supposed to do the first one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, we went to the Hoover Dam. Oh, wait. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> and here's a few fun facts. <laughs> yes. First, Mike McCall <laughs> First, Mike McCallan was the governor of Nevada for seven years. Eight years. Eight years was governor of California for eight years in the 1970s. Whoa! Here we go to the Hoover Dam and the Pat... And the Mike McCall... Mike... Okay. <laughs> Here we go.